Mercedes, uh, maybe I've got a bee in my bonnet, but, you know, I used to live in Hong Kong, and when I saw those demonstrations of a million people over the weekend, I thought, you know, that's got to put pressure on Xi Jinping in our trade talks with President Trump. He thinks he's got a united front back home, and he doesn't. I think it's leverage for America. What do you say? Yeah, I must say, I mean, those images are so dramatic to see the, the, those millions of people going out uh, in, on the streets of Hong Kong. Uh, obviously, you know, what we're looking at right now is uh, continuing to see if we can have these conversations with China. Obviously, uh, we have pres the pres President Trump, who is expected to meet with President Xi in, China, in Japan during the G20. Uh, and we want, as we know, put forward a very good deal uh, that we wanted the Chinese uh, to accept. They pulled back last minute. And we want to see if we can go back to the table to have these discussions. We I know think, well, that... I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry to jump in like this, but it seems like President Trump pulled off a big win with the Mexico and tariffs. I think he won hands down. And yeah. by taking that firm stand and sticking with it, doesn't that enhance his position in the meeting with Xi Jinping at G20, which is what? Two weeks away, that's it. Yeah, there's no question that the president's strategy on the Mexican tariffs was incredibly effective and successful. I mean, I will tell you, there were discussions for some time about uh, what Mex the Mexican government could do. It was when the president introduced the word tariff into the conversation, that it became a wake-up call for the Mexican officials to take action. They came to Washington, they met with the vice president, as, long, as well as Secretary Pompeo and Acting Secretary McAleenan. They sat with them hours after hours of negotiation, uh, where what we have seen is that Mexico is presenting new and effective solutions at the border. They're doing more for the border than Congress is. Which is disturbing to see that when you're talking about the Mexican government taking significant actions to help the United States, yet the Democrats uh, have refused to lift a finger on solving this border crisis. Well, P President Trump has to go into that meeting with Xi Jinping with the Republican Party at his back and unified and with American business at his back and unified. But I don't think you can say that at this moment. Well, I have to say the one thing about President Trump is that his leadership has led to effective change in our trade policy. I mean, there is no question that we've seen the economic burden rest on the Chinese more than ever uh, because of the president's actions on the tariffs. And it puts pressure on those companies who have shipped the jobs overseas to look into the United States and invest here in the United States. And that has been one of the priorities for the president. At the same time, the president said we're not going to stick to a status quo when it comes to the trade policy. China, for too long, has stolen our intellectual property, has stolen our technology. We're at a point that our goal is to ensure free and reciprocal trade. And it's why the president has taken the steps that he has when it comes to these tariffs. At the same time, we've had a good deal on the table. We want to continue negotiations. And we'll see where China goes next. But there is no question that for the president, this is about improving our, our playing field here in the United States and protecting our American workers. And I think it's helped the market, which, by the way, I'm sure you know, Mercedes, uh, up 1,400 points on the Dow Industrials since last Monday. Okay. Mercedes Schlapp, thanks for joining us, as always. We will see you again real soon, promise. Thank you. Sure thing.